Welcome to Honors Geometry 7.1a, working with radicals. Okay, uh, first thing I'd like to do is talk about the word radical. What is the root word of radical? Where does this word come from? It comes from this word right here, radish. So, uh, it comes from the word that's related to the word root, because radish comes from the word root. And when I talk about radicals, I will use um, these two words interchangeably. I will say root A1, radical 81, or I might even say square root of 81. And these all come from back in the somewhere in the uh, late eight uh, no 17th century maybe the uh, 16th century it was actually used to be written like this r81 standing for root 81 and what happened is that r got changed over the years until it actually became a root or a radical sign all right so let's go ahead and move on Okay, multiplying radicals. Let's get to the nitty gritty first. Let's start with root three times root three. That will just simply be three. Root seven times root seven, that'll be seven. Root x times root x, well, that'll be x. Any square root times itself equals a number inside. Okay, next year in Honors Algebra 2, you will look at root negative 1 times root negative 1 and get negative 1 out of that. So, okay, so what is root 3 times root 2 well that would be root 6 how about root uh, 5 times root 7 well that would be root 35 how about root 7 times root 14 well, you could say root 98, but that can actually be simplified, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, that'd be root 7. Root 14 can be written as root 7 and root 2. Those two multiplied together to get root 14. You can break root 14 up into that. And what's root 7 times root 7? Well, that would be 7 with a radical 2 left over. So root 7 times root 14 would end up being 7 radical 2. Alright, let's move along. Talk a little bit more about multiplying radicals. 2 root 3, that means 2 times radical 3 times 5 root 2. Okay, when you're multiplying these mixed things multiply the a whole number times a whole number and the root times root 10 root 6 15 root 5 times 2 root 10 okay multiply the 15 and the 2 30 and then you got root 5 times root 10 but wait a minute, this can be broken up into what? Root 5 and root 2, that's right. So 30 root 5. And then this is root 5 and root 2. Those two multiply together, make root 10. Hey, wait a minute, root 5 times root 5? Sure, any radical times itself equals a number inside. So 30 times a whole number 5, because that equals a whole number 5, 150 root 2. 
Okay, simplifying radicals. Square root of 18. What you want to do is you want to find the biggest factor of 18 that's a perfect square. You know a number times itself? That's right. 9 is the biggest perfect square factor of 18. What's the square root of 9? What number times itself equals 9? 3. So radical 18 can be simplified into to equal 3 root 2. Let's do another one, shall we? Root 24. What's the biggest perfect square that goes into 24? Yes, it is 4. And what is the square root of 4? 2. Good. 2 root 6. Root 6 can be broken up into root 3 and root 2, but those are both prime numbers, so they can't be broken up anymore than that. So we'll just leave them as the product root 6. So what are those perfect squares again? I do believe they're on you. They're on your in your book on page 294. There's a big list of them. You know, perfect squares: one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four, five times five. You get it. You're trying to find all these perfect squares that go into a number. Like let's try root 75. Which one of these numbers goes into 75? The biggest one? Yeah, 25. Root 25 times root 3, so root 75 can be simplified into 5 root 3. And that's how you uh, simplify radicals. Find the biggest perfect square. Let's try another one, I dare you. All right, root 242. Sure, I know you might not see that that's 121 times 2. Root 121 times root 2. Square root of 121 is 11. 11 root 2. Now if you didn't see that one, hopefully you can see this one. Root 32. What's the biggest perfect square that goes into 32? 16. You're right. Root 16 root 2, final answer, 4 root 2. Now, when we are uh, dealing with uh, radicals in the denominator, like 3 over root 2, okay, we're not allowed, until you get to AP Calc, to have that root 2 in the denominator, so what were any radicals in the denominator. So we're going to multiply by a very special form of 1, and that special form of 1 is going to make it so there's a whole number in the denominator. Root 2 times root 2? Two, 2. Numerator? 3 root 2 over 2. Sounds like fun. Want to try it again? Sure. 5 over root 7. Multiply top and bottom by the same thing. Root 7. And that would be... 5 root 7 over 7. Okay, try one more. 16 over root 6. Multiply top and bottom by root 6. That's correct. So you have 16 root 6 over 6. You can reduce these whole numbers. Uh, final answer. 8 radical 6 over 3 because 2 goes into both of those. I think you need to see one more. Here we go. Maybe a couple more. Root 15 over root 2. Multiply top and bottom by root 2. Root 30 over 2. 10 radical 3 over root 5 multiply top and bottom by yes that's right root 5 and you get 10 root 15 over 5 
Reduce the whole number. What goes into 10? It goes into 5. That's right. You betcha. 2 root 15. Final answer. Because 5 goes into 10 twice and 5 goes into 5 once. 2 root 15. Alright, I guess the best way you're going to learn from now on is by working with them. So, when you get into class, I'll let you work on them. This will conclude Honors Geometry Chapter 7.1A, Working with Radicals.